Morning, boys. Morning and welcome to my channel. Welcome to a winter morning routine of the 2022 to 2023 season. Let me know down in the comments below, what's your favorite season? Mine's spring, so we've just got to get Christmas, New Year out the way, and then we're on the home straight. So let me know down in the comments below. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe as it really does help out my channel. So as soon as I get to the yard, I give them all their breakfast. It's all ready made the day before. So it's just ready to give straight to them. And as I give them their breakfast, I take out their dinner buckets from the night before. So I just go up in order, Willow, then Donut, Champ, then Gambler. Just giving them all their breakfast and giving them a little bit of a check over. So whilst they're eating their breakfast, I like to grab all their hay nets. I stuff these of a night time so that of a morning there is always some left over. So I get their hay nets out and I then take out their water buckets and empty them. And I do this all the way down the line. So gambler, champ, donut and willow. Donut gets two hay nets of a night time because he was just regularly finishing one and I don't want them to risk getting ulcers through having nothing to eat. So I always fill him up two nets of a night. He's a growing horse. He's coming two years old. So I like him to eat as much as he needs. So by this time, Fez has arrived for his breakfast. He comes every single morning. He's usually got two girls with him, but they never come this morning. And then the chickens all get fed and check to see if they've got any eggs. And then it's on to filling the hay nets for when they come in this afternoon. And then I go down the line again, just hanging the hay nets up so they can all have a mouthful of hay before they go out in the field. And then I collect up all the breakfast buckets from anyone that's finished.
then I turn on the water to wash all the buckets out. I don't have water directly on my yard. It comes from the neighbour's garden, but I'm really grateful for them letting us use it. So whilst the waters are filling up, I start changing rugs for them to go out in the field. It is only Willow's rug that gets changed every morning. The other three sleep in their turnout rugs. But Willow, his turnout rug has a neck on and he has a really brittle mane. So trying to protect that, we put the stable rug on at night that hasn't got a neck. So I'll just put his turnout rug on and his overreach boots, then he's ready to go out. Willow and Champ both wear overreach boots. This is to try and protect them in the field from overreaching and pulling their front shoes off. So I just put them on him and then we turn him out. Having four horses, trying to exercise them all each day and with winter having such little daylight hours, I like to try and exercise a couple in the morning and a couple in the evening. So here, today, I then start working with Donut. Donut is not worked every day. As I said, he's a coming two-year-old. I just like to do five knits of groundwork with him, just getting him used to stuff so that when the time does come that he is broken to ride, all he's got to learn then is to have a rider on his back, not the mountain block training and bridle on and everything all at once. Then I want him to learn what he can now.
And then I go on to making the feeds. I make the dinners for tonight and the breakfasts for tomorrow morning, just so it is all ready to feed straight away. So I don't have horses kicking the doors in the morning. After a quick stop for a cup of tea and to let Gambler's breakfast go down a little bit more, we then get on to lunging Gambler. I lunge him for about 15, 20 minutes and then he comes in, gets untacked and has his rug on so he then gets turned out. I do alternate who works in the morning because it does shorten their turnout time. So once that's all done, then we get on to the mucking out. Luckily, none of them are too hard to muck out, so it doesn't take long at all. 